Hi guys, in this video I am going to uh, show you how to get the keys uh, from a python dictionary. Uh, so the uh, same thing is uh, I have actually explained it in a medium article you can uh, see the uh, this is my medium article on the same thing. I will provide the link to this article uh, in the description. So let's get to the notebook. So first thing is we have to import the libraries. Uh, for this purpose I have to just import the uh, pandas library. And then I have to initialize the dictionary. So I have uh, created a currency dictionary. So in this currency dictionary I have the abbreviations used for the currency as key and the name of the currency as the value okay for example so there is usd uh, and the value is us dollar euro uh, eur euro gbp pound sterling and then i have inr and indian rupee so i have to initialize the dictionary so and you guys know how to get the uh, value from a dictionary uh, when we give the key so for example so if if you want to get the value that is us dollar so you have to give the uh, key so currency dic dictionary and if i give the uh, key as the if if i give usd as the uh, input then i will get the us dollar as the uh, I can get the value I can retrieve the value so another example so in currency dict if I give INR so INR is the control is it INR so INR is the uh, key for Indian rupee so when I execute this I will get Indian rupee as the I can uh, Indian rupee as the output that is the value so this is very straightforward but then in python getting the key so if uh, from the value it is actually not that straightforward so in this method i will go i will explain three methods and the first method is using list so first i will create uh, a variable val so and i will initialize it to euro so we will use it just for testing purpose okay so first thing is I have to make the key list and value list. So to get keys, okay, first I will show you how to get the keys. So currency dict dot keys. So I will get, I can get the keys like this. But then you can see that it's uh, the, it is of the type dict keys. But I want it in, I, I want it as list. So for that purpose I have to change it to list okay so now I have I got a list of uh, the keys so EU, uh, USD, UR, GBP and INR are the uh, values within this list so these are the keys of the dictionary so I will just use it as the key list and same way I can get the values list also so values list I, instead of keys I have to just write values okay so now I will get the values list also so we can see the key list key list contains the keys and value list contains the value okay so now I will show you how to get the uh, key from the value so for example uh, I want to find the uh, find the key for pound sterling so I will take pound sterling okay first I have to find the index of the uh, pound sterling 
so I have like a index of pound sterling so so pound sterling is in val list I have to find the index val list dot index of pound sterling so I will get two two is the uh, index so uh, now I uh, so index of key list so this is zero key list zero is USD key list one is euro key list two is uh, GBP and so on and likewise in val list zero is uh, US dollar euro like that okay the values are in like that so now I have found the index of pound sterling if I want to get the uh, key name so I have to give the index as an argument uh, like uh, 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 pass the index into key list so key list of 2 will give you GBP now the next step is generalizing so for example so for any variable so so let the variable be val so now I have to find the uh, key for val so first step is like this is the I have to find the index so index I have found for pound sterling so now I have to find the index for val okay so so val I have earlier initialized so val is euro so instead of that I can change val also so currently uh, val I am using as zero so index of uh, index of val in val list is one so the next step is I have to find the key list control C key list of one or else I will use another variable index int is equal to so now the int will be 1 and uh, now I can find the key list of int and it will give me euro so now let's see how we can find it in a single step so to find it in a single uh, step I will just use this is the thing which I need control C I will paste it here so and uh, what is the index index is okay and what is key list key list also I have earlier initialized like this control C and I will paste uh, key list here so in this way I can simply find it so if I initialize val is equal to Indian rupee so it will give INR so this way I can find it in a single step so next step is using a for loop so I will use a for loop for I in uh, range length of I can use currency currency list uh, uh, currency dictionary or the uh, key list or value list so any of the uh, thing which I can use so like all of them have the same uh, length so if you want to see the value of uh, I can just print it out print i so so the uh, value of i is going through 1 2 3 and 4 like that so i have to fi see that so i will try to find the uh, key which corresponds to uh, pound sterling 
so i have to find i have to find the index of pound sterling so if uh val list of i equal to equal to pound sterling then print key list of i the logic for this thing also uh, is the same as the above so gbp so i can instead i can use a val i can generalize it by just using a variable val so val you can see val is already here so val is indian rupee so val is already there so instead of pound sterling if i give val it will replay it will return inr so i can uh, convert this into a function so it can be easily reused so i will define a function define a function function name i will give it as return key return underscore key and it will take the value as the argument so what the function does is this thing so this for loop will be inside the function so if val list of i is equal to uh, this thing then i don't have I don't want to print i will just return it return key list of i so if the uh, value is not in the val list then what should i do then i will return i will just return that uh, key not found so now let's try this function return key if and i have to pass the argument argument i am passing val val is inr or val is indian rupee and then i will get the uh, key for indian rupee so instead i can give uh, pound sterling i will get gbp which is the key for pound sterling and what will happen if i give yen yen is actually not in our dictionary so key for yen is not available so it will return the key not found okay so the next method is using a data frame so i will create a data frame using uh, pd dot data frame pandas function so the column will be one column will be abbreviations in abbreviations i will leave uh, i will give the uh, list of currency dict uh, list of keys uh, so and the currency will be and the next column will be currency and it will be a uh, list of values so you can see the fun uh, the data frame here the data frame has abbreviation and uh, uh, currency now let's uh, see how to obtain the abbreviation uh, once we have currency so df where df dot currency equal to equal to pound sterling so then i will get uh, gbp so i don't need the entire thing i just need the abbreviation column from that so that will be abbr okay so then i will i get this thing like this 
so we can see the type of this this is actually not uh, a string let's see what type of value is this it's a series so I have to get the uh, value get the get the value from this series so how can I do this I can do this uh, by using three methods so first method is I can uh, I need to get this GPP from this so for that I can use the uh, either I can use the unique function so unique function will give an array and there is only one unique value uh, which is a GVP and I can get it by using the uh, index instead of this unique function I can use uh, mod also then also the same thing will happen so if I just use mod then the uh, value will be 0 and then GBP but then I don't need the index I just need the value so I can just pass the index and I'll get it so instead of using mode I can use sum if I use sum function I will get directly GBP so these are the methods and how to generalize this so to generalize this there is nothing uh, required so instead of pound sterling I have to provide val okay so val as you know we have earlier initialized val as Indian rupee instead of that val if I give uh, US dollar then let's see whether it will work or not so if I give uh, val as US dollar it will give USD so if you want to get the input from the user then you can provide val is equal to input enter currency name So now it will ask the user to enter the currency name and uh, I will give the currency name as Euro Euro that it, it will give the key which is associated to Euro so that's it guys so the link to this notebook and the uh, and my uh, medium article I will link it in the description so if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos if you have any suggestions let me know as comments thank you